Hi guys, on this installment of PJ Cook Sexy Food, we're going to be making turkey bolognese in an Instapot. Let's get started. So the ingredients we have today for our turkey bolognese is we're going to start off with two pounds of ground turkey. We have three cups of crushed tomatoes. We have one cup of diced tomatoes. We have half a cup of celery, half a cup of carrot, three quarters of a cup of red onion. We also have one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, two tablespoons of evaporated milk, one tablespoon of tomato paste, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, and for the love of God, please don't use that jarred stuff, only use freshly chopped garlic. We have one teaspoon of kosher salt, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flake, one bay leaf, and one third of a cup of red wine. So with our Instapot set to saute, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna add a good tablespoon of a nice fruity extra virgin olive oil to the bottom of our pot. So our oil has just started to shimmer. I can smell the olive oil in the air. I'm gonna go ahead now and add in our carrots, our celery, and our onion. And I'm just gonna to start to stir that around. And we just wanna soften these vegetables a little bit. At this stage, I'm gonna add in half of our salt and pepper. And we're gonna let this go for about two to four minutes, just until the onions become translucent and the carrots and the celery soften. So it's been four minutes, our vegetables have been sauteing. You can see the onions have just started to get translucent, our vegetables have started to soften. At this point, we're gonna add in our garlic, give that a stir around just until it starts to become fragrant. It should only take about 30 seconds to a minute. While that's in, we're gonna go ahead and add in our sugar, our Italian seasoning, our red pepper flake, and at this point is when we're gonna add in the remainder of that salt and pepper. Now with our pan still on saute, we're going to introduce our ground turkey meat. And we wanna now cook this and brown this meat in this pan. Should take anywhere from six to eight minutes. So now that our meat has gone ahead and browned, I'm going to go ahead and add in the wine, as well as the tomato paste. And I'm going to stir that in. And we're gonna let this cook for about five to 10 minutes until the wine has evaporated and just left a nice flavor on the turkey meat. So it's been a couple of minutes and you can see the bottom of our pot now is dry. Our wine has evaporated. What we're gonna do is at this point, we're gonna add in our evaporated milk. We're gonna stir that around. Sorry that you got fogged up a little bit there, but that's okay. We're just gonna stir that around, coat the meat, and we're gonna let that cook off for about a minute or two. Okay, so it's been about a minute or so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop in our bay leaf right there. I'm going to add in the diced tomatoes, the crushed tomatoes. Make sure you get everything out of the bowl. Give it a good stir. Now I'm going to clamp on the lid to our instant pot. I'm going to set the pressure to high. Make sure that we are in the sealed and pressure position. And we're going to let this go for 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to get a pot of water going on the stove to boil up some rigatoni. So I'll see you in just a couple minutes. So our bolognese has been cooking for a while and we let it sit under a natural release for about 15 minutes just until it gave way. You can see how beautiful this looks. What I want to do now is I just want to give it a little stir. I'm going to fish that bay leaf right out of there, discard that. Now I want to just give it a little taste, see if it needs any additional seasoning. I could use a couple of grinds more of black pepper. Maybe just a little pinch more red pepper flake and a tiny shot of salt. Give that the stir again. And right now I think we should be spot on and we are ready to plate. Let me give that a taste. Perfect. So let's go ahead and plate this up. So our pasta is just about done. What we want to do here now is we want to put some of our sauce into a nice big pan. 
I would say about two, maybe three ladlefuls. That's about 12 ounces. Now I'm gonna fish out our pasta. And what I'm doing is I'm not taking the pasta and draining it, I'm just fishing it out right out of the pasta water and I'm just putting it right into our sauce. I'm not draining off of any of the excess water. I want that water in there because that excess pasta water is gonna tighten up the sauce a little bit more because that's very starch laden water. And once I get all the pasta out, I'm gonna give this a nice toss. Let's see if we need to add any more sauce to that. Let's give this a nice toss to, just to coat the pasta. You don't wanna overcoat your pasta in the beginning. See how good this looks. Now what I want to do, I just want to add in a nice handful of grated, you could use Parmesan, I prefer Pecorino. And we're doing this off the heat because we don't want that cheese to cook. We just want that cheese to melt right into our sauce. Perfect. Now, we are ready to plate our pasta. Okay, so I went ahead and I put our pasta into one of my favorite serving bowls. Gonna top it off with some more of that beautiful bolognese that we have here. Doesn't that look good? Right up the middle. Perfect, just like that. We'll take a little bit more. That pecorino cheese, this time I'm gonna grate it right over the top. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? I can't wait to dig into this. That's making me hungry just smelling this. Now yeah, we'll stick a little bit of parsley right in the middle just to make it look pretty. There you go. Turkey bolognese in the Instapot. Doesn't take too long. It doesn't take many ingredients. Quick and easy. Have a meal on the table in under an hour. Hope you try this recipe at home. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in to PJ Cook Sexy Food. We'll see you next time.